welcome to bspm web today i am going to show you a project demo on dds for bitex bitex is designed by mr farhan vu to ese It is the most popular rig among the radio amateurs around the world. It provides excellent audio clarity and very low cost. This wonderful kit has one challenge. While you are listening, audio drifts away. To listen back again, you have to fine tune it. While you are transmitting, because of this drift, the audio content may last and crosstalk may happen to the adjacent channels. This is because analog nature of the design. Here is the solution. The combination of a Arduino and a DDS. provides a stable digital frequency and other enhancements let us see the functional block diagram it consists of a microcontroller a rotary encoder to vary a vfo frequency a 16 by 2 character lcd and si5351 dds the output of the dds is connected to the bitex let us see the circuit diagram it consists of atmega328 with arduino bootloader running at 16 megahertz clock it operates at 5 volts it can be programmed through serial port rotary encoder is connected to interrupt pins the 16 by 2 lcd is configured in 4 bit mode and connected to arduino gpio pins sf5351 a dds running at 25 megahertz clock has i2c interface with an arduino and operates at 3.3 volts since it operates at 3.3 volts logical level and our friend arduino operates at 5 volts so the mediator level shifter is used input power to the system is 12 volts and regulated to 5 volts and 3.3 volts using lm7805 and lm3017 regulator let's see the program program is simple but it is lengthy it has 520 lines of code and written in arduino ide the main function of the program is to generate two frequencies vfo and bfo let's do some basic testing making sure that i got a correct vfo initially i couldn't find where to connect vfo to my lovely bitex after getting a suggestion from mr ramesh vu3 vrl i got a output let's add the bitex and making the room for the lcd and controller finally here it is let's power on once the power is applied to the system microcontroller will initialize the lcd and si5351 and display the parameters on the lcd the mode of operation vfo frequency ham call sign sideband and step size it has four modes of operation in the mode one that is vfo mode if you rotate the encoder clockwise the vfo will increase if you rotate it in counter clockwise the vfo will decrease the change in the vfo will be the corresponding to the step size the step size can be varied by the short press of a encoder 10 kilohertz 100 kilohertz 1 megahertz 1 hertz 10 hertz and 100 hertz let's see the mode two it is channel mode there will be nets running during the morning you can change to the net frequency by using the encoder this is tds process and the channel mode will be helpful the channel mode will be entered by a press and holding the encoder for about 1 seconds channels will be displayed by using the encoder you can easily change to the frequencies or the channels now we can enjoy the nets you can return into the vfo mode by short press of a encoder switch let's see the mode 3 that is store channel you found some interesting frequency for rack chewing and you want to save this frequency to the channel you can do this by press and holding the encoder for about 2 seconds in the vfo mode and the system lovely arduino will ask for which memory location you want to store select the appropriate channel number using the encoder after selecting the channel store it by pressing the encoder switch let's see the mode 4 there will be slightly error in the if aka intermediate frequency this can be done by press and holding the encoder for about 4 seconds the bio for frequency will be displayed tune it with an encoder once you are satisfied with the tuning save it 
by present holding the encoder for about 4 seconds. Excellent! Your VFO will be tuned and it will be returned into the VFO mode. If you have any doubts in the project, leave them in the comment section below. And you want to build this project? Check the project description. Or if you don't have any resource, you can buy the kit from Mr. Ramesh. Guys, there is a simple contest. Please listen to this. I have made a small modification in the system, maybe hardware or software. If you could explain what modification I did so that I can hear a broadcast station, you can win a free ARRL book and Pixie transceiver. Thanks for watching this video. If you like, please thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Until then, don't forget, keep learning.